Okay, okay so uh, welcome to math115.com. Oh, yeah. Go. Hey. We're going to go through another problem. Math. Matt, Ashish. How's it going? And rock your world. We're going to talk about uh, tree diagrams again. But this time, Matt, I have a good problem for you. Okay. So the business math class is divided into two sections, as section one and section two. Okay. 62% of all students are going to pass the class, but only 50% of the students from section two are going to pass. However, the number of seats in section one is limited, and for that reason, only 40% of the students can go to section one. And then the rest of the students have to go to section two. Okay, so let's start with how many kids are in each section. You said 40% of all the students are in section one. 40% of all the students are in okay. section one. So we can then put 40% here, and then we already know two things. We know the percent in one and two, because they have to equal one. So we'll put 60% there. Now what else did we know? You said there was 50% of something. What was that? There are 50% of students in section two will pass. Okay, so 50% of students in section two will pass. So if we have passing here and failing here, we already know we're in section two, so it's 50%. So that means you're also saying 50% will fail in section two. Hmm. So now we were given one other piece of information, but first, I think we should go ahead and solve through this so we can see what numbers we're working with. So here we're going to have 30% students that pass in section two, and 30% of section two students are going to fail. Now we were given one more piece of information. What was that? Said that 62% of all students in the entire uh, in both sections are going to pass. So what you're saying is we're going to have the probability that a student passes is equal to 62%. That's correct. So we already know that out of section 2, 30% will pass. So we can say that this probability, the 0.62 of passing, subtracted from the probability of passing intersection from section two is going to be equal to 0.3 there, because we already found it, is going to be equal to 32%. Hmm. So then the only other part where we have people passing would be right here. So this is gonna have to be 32% here. So now we're gonna wanna work backwards to find our missing spots. So before we multiply this times this, to get the intersection. So if we divide the intersection by the probability in section one, we should get the conditional probability. So this should be 80%. So then do you know how many people fail from section one? Uh, must be 20%. Now why is it 20%? Uh, well, it looks like uh, these two numbers here need to add up to one, just like these two numbers did here. Perfect. So that would make that 20%. Exactly. So now, when we multiply across again, we'll get 0.08. And then as a check, we can add all these up and make sure they equal 1. So 32 plus 8 is 40, 70, 1. So perfect. We did the math right. Everything equals up to 1. So now there are a couple questions we have to answer for this one. What are they? So what percent of students in section 1 pass a class? Okay. How do you solve that? So the percent of students in section one. First, I want to start with the denominator, which is the percent in section one. So from section one, we have percentages that pass and fail. If we add these together, we're going to get the total percent in that class. So adding these together, 0.32 plus 0.08 is equal to our denominator, which is going to be 0.4. And we want to divide this from the people that actually pass from the section. So if we take the 0.32 divided by 0.4, we can find out the probability of people passing from section one. So the other question though, and this one's a little more challenging, what percent of students that pass the class come from uh, section one? Okay, so just the way we found the probability of people passing or the intersections of people passing, we can take that and we can use that to find out how many from section one are passing. So the total probability of people passing, as we were told, is 0.62. We could also find that by adding this and this together. Hmm. Now to find the probability of people passing from section one, we just take this probability and divide it by the total. So 0.32 divided by 0.62 gives us the probability of people passing from section one. Huh. That's wrong. It's, uh, 
32 divided by 0.4. Wait, did we do them backwards again? Or did I do it wrong? What percent of students that pass the class come from section one? one? Yeah, so the percent of students that pass the class, percentage of students that pass the class is 0.32 divided by all the students that pass of 0.62. Oh, yeah. That's right. Perfect. Excellent. Nice. We did it again with a little, you know. But I have another way of looking at it. So let's take a look at this again. Well, okay right. then. Let's see this. So another way to make a little bit more sense of these numbers, maybe, is you might be able to uh, look at them symbolically first so that you kind of understand what the question is asking. So the first question that was asked was what percent of students in section one actually passed the class? So if you look at that, you know it's, not, it's like a, the same thing as a given problem, one of the conditional probability problems. So you know that you're given that you're in section one and you're looking for how many pass the class. So if that's what you're looking for, it makes it a little bit easier to identify P given the section one. So if you, know, if you remember from your conditional probability rules, you can break this up into P intersect one all over the probability of one. So now it just automatically tells you what to plug in. So for the numerator, you plug in that number right there, the 0.32. For the denominator, you plug in the probability of 1, 0.4. So you get that right there. Same thing as what we got before. Oh, that is another way of looking at it. So then let's try the second question the same way. So what percent of students that pass the class come from section 1? That's kind of a little bit different. So what percent of students that pass the class come from section 1? You're looking for the section 1 students, but you're, uh, you're given that they've passed the class. So they already have to pass. They already have to pass, exactly. So we're looking for one given pass. Kind of the reverse of what we're looking up here. So breaking this up again, we get one intersect P, which notice is the same thing as P intersect one. And then it's all divided by P. So let's try and plug that in. We know that the numerator must remain the same, the 0.32. But the probability of P is the probability that they pass. And the problem, they tell you that the probability of passing overall is 62%. So that's your denominator. Same thing as what Matt got. So that's just another way of looking at the problem. It might make a little more sense if you prefer the symbols to tell you kind of where to plug in numbers.